Let me give y'all, get y'all revved up. Football season is back, it's yes, back. indeed. And that means it's time to bring you the first Meyer High School game of the week. This week's matchup is between Ferndale and Clarenceville tonight. <sighs> yeah, there you go. Seven Action News sports reporter Brad Galley live in Livonia tonight. Brad, what's the atmosphere like for tonight's big game? I'm thinking it's probably pretty energetic. You got that right, Jeff. It's always interesting to see, especially the first week, where we get sent for the vote. It was Seaholm and Groves to the wire until about 11 o'clock Wednesday night. Voting closed at 11.59. 24,000 people voted. Livonia Clarenceville wanted us here. We were here for a big playoff game last year. But so much has happened in this community in the past six to eight months, and especially this month. Tim Shaw, the biggest hero on this team basically five to eight years ago, was diagnosed with ALS, had to retire from the NFL earlier this month from the Tennessee Titans. He's only 30, so it's been a rallying cry around Tim Shaw, their big hero around here. And Tim challenged the school to an ALS bike bucket challenge that hits near and dear, obviously, to his heart as he's fighting it. And on Sunday, over 700 people showed up. Here's video of how things went down here at the field. What an event. The entire team out here, the coaching staff, the community, one of the biggest gatherings of people at Livonia on this track ever. And it's all for Tim. And as the continuing fight goes on, Coach Tim Fry joins me here, a part of everything coming together here. you got a big smile on your face, oh, and do. it seems like you have been. Tim's fight is your fight. As you guys all get behind him, even though his career's over, the fight's just beginning. Yes, Tim's always given back to us every year uh, since he's been in the NFL. He's done a camp here that we've been very involved in. Uh, each year it's grown and grown. Uh, he's really given back everything. He's helped with the weight room, the kids. And so it's a way for us as a community to come together and give back to Tim. When you look at the fight that he's given, what can that do for your guys on a lower level? I mean, battling a life-threatening disease and playing a high school football game are two completely different things. But right. Playing high school football is everything to these guys. Does that fight show them an example? Actually, it is. I mean, his just his fortitude and his uh, his uh, just his actions. You see, every every interview he's given, he's a smile on his face. He's very positive, uh, and I think it's just his faith in God and everything else that's put him there. You guys have Ferndale tonight, coming off one of the best seasons in this program's history. The excitement buzzing in this locker room just to get the thing going. Oh, it is. It is. They're all excited. Uh, I have a few players from last year. The community's behind it. Everybody is just really fired up and ready to go. I know the cheerleaders are fired up. Come on in again. All right, girls. Come on in. Do your thing. <laughs> Carolyn and Jeff, high school football season is back. We all feel yep. right at home. A big game tonight, Clarenceville against Ferndale. Love Live Report at yeah. 6 o'clock as well. Back to you guys. Thanks, and Brad. the cheerleaders are just as important. You tell them that, Brad. <laughs> That's tell right. them that, Brad. The cheerleaders are just on. as important. Yes, Carol they wants are. you to know. <laughs> yes, they are. Right.